Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time and make a video this morning about uh, deck building. I, uh, after being a handyman all those years, always heard, you know, hire a licensed contractor. Don't don't hire a handyman, that you'll get a better quality and you know, whatever, whatever. But um, at any rate, after years of taking offense to that, you know, I'm out here today and uh, I'm on a contractor's job. They build a deck out here and uh, just kind of looking at it. And I uh, thought I'd kind of share some of what I see from a, a licensed contractor and his guys building a deck. Perfect place to start off on. Here's a brand new deck. Look how they mangle it up. And it's not even, you can stick your finger in there. So that's, that's just starting off, coming across. One of those things I've always been anal about. And you can feel this in your feet. As you see the, the curve of the board, the curve of the board. And it's got a circle and it's curved well on my decks all boards look like this so the curve is is in an upwards position so that the water runs off instead of making a cup so it holds the water right there all right coming across here they're just random just whatever however they laid so that one's upside down that one's right that one's right that one's upside down that one's right that one's right that one's upside down that one's upside down that one's upside down that one looks twisted upside down upside down upside down questionable right questionable right wrong now not only do they hold water but you also feel that and uh there's some pretty boards to, to end your deck with just what it is what it is then you come on around Post you can stick your finger in don't have any bolts in it maybe maybe they're planning to come back and put bolts but if you look in there you can see the other girders back there it's never going to make it it's never going to pull over like it's supposed to and it's just jacked up just nasty 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 stickers all down through there stickers all down through there look at this post i don't know if you can tell but that thing is at least two inches out of level um, coming on around, uh, got the stairs, the stairs got the same upside down, right side up, right side up, right side, sticker in the way, upside down, sticker in the way, Up questionable, upside down, coming on around, you go up these steps, I haven't measured them, but something is not right about these things, uh, come up here, Look around at the deck. Oh, let's start over here. You got this, uh, this your corner. They didn't even, even try to straighten up. And you could probably pull this one, this one up, and push that one down, and put some kind of fastener back there and make that much better. But uh, don't worry about that. It's just a brand new deck. I don't know if you can tell how how twisted that is. But it's pretty horrible. When you look down the line. And look at there, a red chalk line. Never go away. You can't ever wash that out. And you know, when you, you pop a, a straight line on a crooked board and cut it, I don't know what your anticipation of outcome is there. But uh, if you're gonna pop a line, you should, you should use like yellow or blue or something other than this red that's gonna be on this here deck forever and ever and ever. And uh, this corner is the same as the other. It's all jacked up up there down there no effort to, to straighten it up or nothing put a fastener in it screw that that's not important walking across the deck you can you can feel it in your feet and then uh some of these nice cuts come along the edge i mean this is a this is a brand new deck stickers everywhere you just stop uh, and you got these these knobby posts and then no posts and a knobby post and no knobbies it's just, uh, I would almost expect a job like this to uh, be more of a homeowner. Somebody who you know, doesn't do this kind of stuff for a living. Somebody who, you know, just like a weekend warrior or something. But these are licensed contractor professionals out here doing this work. Um, I'm not saying all handymen do great work. But uh, what I am saying is not all contractors do great work either. Um, I would have a meltdown with all of this. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's, it's, it's pretty horrible and uh, way low below any standard that 
that, that I would hold as a handyman, as a carpenter, or whatever. It's uh, pretty crappy. You know, you do this job for someone, you know, they pay you a lot of money, you know, thousands of dollars to come out here. And, you know, you just throw it in the garbage and call it good. Now, anyway, hope you uh, maybe ascertained a little bit from this and what to look for when you do hire a handyman or a contractor or someone to do a job. Just uh, try to get an eye on some of the stuff they've done before and see if you can't spot out some of their quality and stuff. And if you do hire them and they're doing things like this, I'd make them go back and fix some of this stuff. You know, these handrails are going to twist up and look awful. And, you know, I, the deck already feels funny walking on it, but uh, they could at least pull the stickers off. But uh, at any rate, I hope you all have a great day and good talk to you again. Bye-bye.